Right, so moving on now. Um, yes. One thing that Dave points out at the start of the show, which you may or may not have uh, picked up on, is that there's been a lot of different bargain items coming through over the past week. You'll have seen a lot of different news articles going on to our website, lots of great videos going on our YouTube channel about all these as well. And we've just picked a few of our favorites for you here today to just go through in a little bit more detail. If there's anything you want to know about them, pop your questions down in the chat and we'll answer those. But We've just picked a few of yeah. the, so as I say, some of our favorites and a bit of variation here. So we're going to kick it off with Homie's Class 67 train pack. This is the modern one, isn't it? This is, it for is. Your 21st century modelers here. So let's cut to the video and we'll give you a bit of a closer look at this one. So as you can see, this comes in a fantastic train pack form with three EWS liveried coal fish wagons. Now, what is really incredible about this is the price is just £149 for a full train pack. And this is representing something that you would have seen in the early 2000s. Uh, of course, the Classic 70s, you can still see them on freight workings every now and then. But more towards the passenger side with these now. But you can still, in the 2000s, you would have seen these freight workings going on. Um, the locomotive, as we've seen with the Class 67s before, you've got a really nice die-cast chassis in there, lots of detail, and the coalfish wagons are splendid as well. There's a real weight to them, really nice quality feel with a lot They're of detail, aren't they? and They're some really nice. some really nice sprung buffers. But we've got something a bit different for you today. I'm <laughs> going to cut over to Dave, who's mysteriously disappeared from Hello. the <laughs> from the track here. So he's gone over to our test track, as you can see here, and he's given it a bit of a run. Yeah, it's really great. I'm really tempted to get this out, and a lot of you have seen our track in the videos as well. So, tempted to have a little bit of a play, to be quite honest <laughs> with you, because there's nothing better than seeing these locomotives doing exactly what they're designed to do. And we can see here with the 67, the slow quality, the slow speed running there right through our second radius points coming through, but also the wagon pack that's worked with it as well. There, you do get all of it in that pack as you saw in the video. I believe it's 149 pounds at the moment as well. So I'll just shunt that onto those wagons there now. And that's the great thing about this pack is it's not only the loco that you get, you do get an instant train there as well. And of course the NEM couplings there should do their job. Oh, might, spot on. Might just need a little bit of help there, of course. We're live on camera, so they don't don't do as they should do. The hand of God always has to come into play that's sometimes. That's exactly it, part of, part of modeling. So, but we'll take her out now and send those wagons on the way. I will take the one, we'll bring that back and get the other one. But that's part of it there really, and you can tell there were just sprung buffers on these wagons too, full of detail, just matching the loco there really, and that really slow acceleration, smooth and silent really, even, even when it's coming through. So that five pole motor in there is really powerful as well. It's only on three wagons here, but it can really counteract against more that you've got. I mean, that's nothing for it, really, is it? It's capable of pulling anything you like. And, of course, if obviously, that EWS livery, you can still sometimes see that around today. And, of course, from yeah. the early 2000s up until now, that's been used on all sorts of different trains, with like passenger workings and different freight um, workings as well, such as the one that you can see Dave trying out on the track. Well, these were introduced in just be coming into the 21st century, sort of 1999, early 2000. Originally built for mail trains, actually, as well. But... After a couple of years, unfortunately, the mail trains stopped running and these locomotives needed a lot of new duties to find. So the 67s really went over onto freight duties like this, but also heading over as well, they went onto a lot more passenger workings for transport for whales. They also worked for um, Caledonian Sleeper for a few years as well. So even if you get the pack such as this, which I'll bring back onto the screen for you now, you can get the loco and it has lots of different duties. But you can also use the wagon with lots of different locos as well, so you don't need to keep them permanently paired like this. That's it. And as I said before, this one is coming in at just £149, which for a, essentially a full train for your layout with this level of detail is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, you can check out that link in the description right now. But I think we're going to cut back to Dave again. And I've spotted in the background, just behind your hand, you've got a King locomotive there, haven't you, Yeah, Dave? it's not just the 67 I've got here, Jack, actually. I will just take the 67 off and we'll get something that's a little bit more classic. And of all the locomotives we've got on our bargain section at the moment, 
This is the biggest express passenger locomotive in 00. And three of these are available to order right now at £129. Whether you're a great Western modeler, 1950s BR Blue, or back on the desk we had the 1960s BR Green version as well, these models are available to order. And I will just set my tracks and go and get some coaches for that. Now, now once again this is an absolutely stunning model that we've got here for a fantastic bargain price you're looking at just 129 pounds yeah. for this coming through which down from the rp of 182.99 so that is quite a saving i'm going to cut back now so you can see that train running we've got some lovely coaches there to go with the br model in mark one, uh, some mark ones there in the custom cream livery so that is fantastic to see um yeah i was really tempted to get this a lot of people see the king as the green locomotive with the chocolate and cream coaches but this 1950s style setup really was the start of british railways getting its own corporate identity shaking things up a little bit the blue was quite controversial as were the, the crimson and cream coaches here as well but it did have its fans and of course on a locomotive like this as well we've only got four coaches here but these 12 13 coaches heading over to devon banks a lot of rate there and the locomotive could do exactly the same it's got a huge five pole motor in there really heavy die cast chassis space for an eight pin digital decoder and you can get the sound decoder and the tts decoder as well so just a great loco for great western fans that's it and as you've pointed out with the br blue livery there that just goes to show you that there is quite a few different variations there for different layouts of course we've got the br green uh, sorry yeah it is the br green one in, on the table in front of me here yeah. we've also got it in the classic gwr green and of course the br blue one that you've just seen running around our layout there as well so there's something for as i say quite a few different uh, layouts here now what we're going to do is we've got our classic shortcast uh, video here which we're going to cut to and just take a closer look at those now so Obviously, you can see here we've got the three different varieties which are in stock now for these bargain prices. Bit of a close-up of the BR Blue one there. Uh, and we've got King Edward V here in the GWR green colour scheme. You can see a bit there about how much cab detail you've got on these as well, which is absolutely fantastic. But it's not just in the cab. The full locomotive has put plenty of detail. That unusual large pony truck as well on the front, which is just captured beautifully on the model. Um, and it's just fantastic to see these coming through for such a great price, really. But these were the largest Great Western locomotives ever built, the most powerful ones as well. Introduced in the late 1920s to handle those banks as well. One of them actually went to Canada, I believe, and the United States in the late 1920s to show the quality of the locos over there too. Just show how powerful these were. And they ran right until the end of Great Western steam in 1962. Absolutely. Now, oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got, you know, this. Th these were one of the most important locos of the GWR days, really, weren't they? One of the main managers of the GWR was really anxious to produce the most powerful locomotive. Yeah. So these things had about £40,000 attractive effort, which yeah. was phenomenal for that time period. And it meant that they were one of the most powerful. And they were also GWR's largest class of locomotive, aside from the Great Bear, which was a one-off bit of a strange one yeah. there. But generally, it was one of the largest classes that they had. And there was nothing even close in the late 1920s to the King. The Southern Railway was about to introduce its Lord Nelson locomotives, which were quite large. And the LMS had a couple of bits and pieces. The LNER had the A3s, but they got nowhere near the power of the Kings. And if anything, really, the LNER never really did. And the LMS only did when they introduced the Princess Coronation and Princess Royals many years later, which had a lot of heritage from the Kings as well. So huge place to play in the large locomotive history of the UK. Absolutely. And as I say before, you can pick one of these up right now for £129 on our website. Now we've got one more to quickly show you. We've got about 10 minutes left on the stream, so we'll quickly have a chat about this last one and then we'll get to some of your questions. As I can see, there are quite a few here today. You're all getting very good in the chat. Um, and the last one that we've got to show you is the Southern Railway S15, which you can see on screen right now. We've got three different variations of this once again, and this is coming through at £99 each, which is down from the RP of £154.99. So another great save in there. And if you need to move a heavy load on your Southern region or Southern Railway layout, there's no better loco than these. Originally introduced in the 1920s under the London South Western Railway, they were such a good design that the Southern Railway continued to build them into the 1930s as well. Hence the survival 
into the BR colour schemes that we see here right through into the 1960s. And I believe there's also seven or eight of them in preservation as well. So really iconic design, uh, looking great in the wartime black with an appropriate wartime load of our Warwell wagons there as well as you can see on the track, but also paired up with the BR Loco too. I think this is a fantastic Loco for those of you guys who want to get something that looks gorgeous, but yeah. is used for freight. And they really do have that kind of classy kind of southern look going on there, but they were mostly used for freight. So they, they're a quite a fantastic Loco here. And of course, you've got that unusual bogey tender, similar to what you might have seen previously on the Lord Nelson as well. Yeah. So just a bit, something a little bit different there, as you can see. Um, so just adds a bit of variety to your layout and something, as Dave pointed out, a really successful design as well. And like I say, you can get these on our website right now for just £99 in three different liveries. And the deliveries there cover right from the 1940s in the wartime black, straight through to the BR early and late crest. So whether you're a 40s, 50s or 60s modeler, do check them out. But this is only a small selection of the bargains that we've put on our website this week. There's more steam locomotives, there's pretty much something for everyone whether you're a great western lms southern lner modeler there's something on there for you so check out our facebook page check out our website as well keep an eye on our youtube channel as there's more videos going up throughout the week of further bargains so this is just three of them. There's a heck of a lot more, so oh, yeah. really do check that out. There's something for everyone there. Like Dave says, there's a lot of GWR locos, LNER, Southern Rail, British Railways, EWS 67s. This really yeah. is a huge variety here. One of the easiest ways to see them all is to go to our website front page, go to the product news section and click view yeah. all. And then there's a massive list of all of our latest articles. And a lot of those are these bargain ones, which have got that bargain tag at the front of the post too. Yeah. Now, there's tons and tons of comments here, and we've just <laughs> got to get to some of these because you guys have got some great thoughts on here. Um, on the 67, we've got Medway Peninsula Model Railway says, um, spotted the video on the 67, and can a TTS decoder fit, and what one would be most appropriate? Now, a TTS decoder can fit, can it? It can't can it? indeed, and some of them have been made available with that TTS decoder already pre-fitted. Now, Hornby have made a 67 decoder for this as well. Absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, it's not available at the moment. It may be available again in years to come, but it's not something that we're sure of currently. In the meantime, you can pre-order and order the Class 66 decoder, which shares the same power unit. So it's a very, very close sound, which will sound just as good in your Class 67. If you're looking for that on our website, it's product code R8121, and it's available right now as well. So keep an eye out for that 67 one coming through on our pre-on department, but the 66 sound is 99% the same, so I'm sure you'd be more than happy with that in its place. Did share a lot of dynamics with the 66, yeah. didn't it? Uh, we've got James Akers says, just a live stream of playing trains, nice. <laughs> um, Flying Scott says, does the 67 come with the big plates that cover the front end of the chassis in real life? It does indeed. You've got them in the detailing pack, as well as full buffer beam pipe work, name plates where appropriate, and extra NEM couplings as well. We've got SLD51 says, love the new feature, Dave running trains. Uh, we've got Joe Light Railway says, really like the train pack of the 67 plus three wagons after watching the video, really like to buy this. Sammy B Film says, ladies and gentlemen, live TV certainly was. <laughs> That's it, yeah. It shows you it's definitely live here. <laughs> um, we've got Emma says, love the class 67, but favorite diesel is the 68, which you can also get right now on Hatton.co.uk. Yeah, we've got those available too. Uh, we've got Medway Peninsula Model Railway also asking about that TDS, TTS decoder. So best option for that is your 66 yeah. decoder. Um, on to the king now. And we've got Kelly Ashford says, correct me if I'm wrong, but I spy um, a GWR castle or a king class there. So you were right, that was a king. Yeah. We've got SLD51 asks, is it a gauge master controller you were using there? Which it is. It is. It's the gauge master combi I was using, which we do sell as well. Really nice, reliable controller there. So that's what we use on our test track. Or it's what we use today. And really nice bit of kit. So recommend those as well. Absolutely. Great price for those as well for yeah. what you get. James Akers here says, uh, saw the BR Blue King Class at the North Yorkshire Malls recently uh, at the recent Steam Gala. I think that's what made me pull that one out, actually. I believe it's 6023 King Edward II at the moment in that livery. So must have been in my mind that one while I picked which one I was putting on the track. But <laughs> great minds think alike. That's it. SLD51 again says, uh, like the BR Blue, and he's got a BR Blue A3. Flying Scott, not a massive GDR fan, but oh my, that BR Blue just goes to show you it has it, fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, 700 Shunza says, be interesting to see a king with a 3500 gallon tender. Joe Light Railway says, 
uh, fantastic to see the BR Blue uh, King with the coaches there and like to see a train pack to buy in the future perhaps. And of course everything that you saw on my little trip over to the layout then is available to order from us right now not just the locos on the bargain section but also the coaches as well you can check it all out on our website not available as a train pack but again you can buy your individual components and put it all together and get it running on your layout and of course with those being bargain locomotives it's the best time to buy them yeah uh, especially with the coaches too we've got ad pullen says uh, i have shared a picture on twitter with you of my streamlined king so we'll have to take a look at that after oh, the show definitely. and we'll there get just one done in real life in the 30s but i'll have to keep an eye on that thank you very much yeah definitely i'll, I'll respond to you with that yeah. one later uh, and then onto the S15, we've got James Akers, great price for the S15. My granddad used to drive one in the 50s, so may have to get one. As I say again, perfect time to get it. This is really probably yeah. the lowest it will get, and it is limited stocks here as well, so they won't be around forever. Yeah. And it is while stocks last these. Um, Norbert Roll, uh, I need a lottery win for buying a little beautiful models today <laughs> urgently. Uh, Medway Peninsula Model Railway says S15 looks very good value. Arno Mulder says awesome cab details, which it really does have. Uh, Matthias Krigsman says another great Hatton's Bargain Loco uh, for freight is the Hornby K1, which as as we show, said before, yep. just goes to show the huge variety of items that we've got on Bargain at the moment. That's great for North East or Eastern modelers as well. And if we've not got a video out on it already, keep an eye on our YouTube channel as there'll be one going up very soon so you can take a closer look. Definitely. Uh, we've got Joe Light Railway says like the Southern S15s and the one I have my eyes on is the 40s SR Black livery as we've got here yep. and uh, XLSWR brake van from Hall to run with some SR and private owner wagons really that looks spot on really good combination send us a picture if we've got that up and running at some point yep. and then we've got Bob Peterson here says what do you recommend for a Moundsel era 3 SR coaches now, a couple of different coaches available there at the moment. The Mournsell coaches, you can either buy the more standard coaches that we used on the Express and the secondary services. We've got those available in olive green, which is from the 30s and the early 40s. If you want the suburban coaches, we have those available too. They were also ran on branch lines as well, so perfect for the likes of the Terrier or the Adams Radial locomotives, which we've also got on bargain prices at the moment. And they're available in the olive green and the SR Malachite Green as well, so right through from your late 20s to your mid 40s there. They're all available on our website right now. If you search for Hornby Mournsell Coach, you'll find them all there, all available to order. And if you're not sure which ones to go for, as ever, ask us the question and we'll help you out. Brilliant.